Welcome to yet another edition of Inside Warhawk Football. I'm Sean Tian here with UW Whitewater Warhawks head football coach Lance Leipold. Coach, last week we were sitting here, we were talking about the Warhawks' first loss since 2008. A little different today. The Warhawks, you guys dominated UW Stevens Point 34 to 7 on Saturday. What were you happy? Yes. What happiest with on Saturday? Well, I think the improvement that we that we made in a week's time. You know, we challenged our players uh, on Monday and Tuesday when they came back here that we had to get better as a football team, assignment wise and execution. And I think we took some some very positive steps. Now, senior running back Desmond Ward ran for a mm -hmm. career high 164 yards on Saturday. How could you describe his growth as a running back, as a part of the Warhawks? Well, I think he's getting more comfortable, first of all. You know, you know, Desmond you know, played in, in spots last year behind Lavelle, and, and now he's getting a chance to, to see, you know, different carries numerous times in a game, and he gets to see the cuts and the reads that are needed. And again, I think he's just going to continue to get better as we move along. Uh, sophomore wide receiver Jake Kumro had a, a big day on Saturday. Uh, an Ill, uh, transfer from the University of Illinois, replacing, uh, filling in for the shoes of Tyler Huber, mm -hmm. uh, star wide receiver, lost to a leg injury, I believe. Yes. Uh, what could you say about Jake Kumro's performance on Saturday overall? Well, first of all, you need guys like uh, Jay Kumro to step up when you lose a player of the caliber of Tyler Huber. And, and that's hopefully uh, when you have depth at positions that you like to see. And Jay came into the program this summer, had a nice fall camp, and then you know Tyler was in and out with some injuries. And, and now he's got his chance again to show what he can do. And, uh, and we're going to continue to need those type of performances from him as we move into conference play. On Saturday, uh, Pointers quarterback Mitch Bowe, was having a pretty good half. He was 12 of 16. Second half, he comes out three consecutive possessions, three interceptions right in a row. What kind of adjustments were made on the defense? I don't know if there's many adjustments. I think once again, we got into the flow of what they were doing. We were able to, you know, I think if you watch our defense, we're rotating guys in and out. I think we've been able to keep some fresh bodies and, and again, put some more pressure on, on them. So again, may, you know, get some forced airs, some balls under thrown and some things. And, and again, uh, create those turnovers you alluded to. The defense has been the strength of this team so far. Uh, the defense is only allowing four and a half points per game this season. Uh, you're going to travel. You guys are traveling to number 13 UW Platteville this Saturday in an offense that's averaging over 52 points mm. per game. What's going to be the toughest thing for the Warhawks defense on Saturday? Well, slowing that offense down, I think, is probably the biggest obvious one that we have to get better. They're playing uh, excellent football. Mike Emmendorf, their head coach, I, you know, I think they've won seven straight games now between the two see end of last season and this year. Um, they're a program that's really become on the rise, I think, within the conference, and they're playing with a lot of confidence. So, you know, again, our ability to go down there and, and slow that offense down and then be able to control the ball ourselves is going to be very important. And Platteville senior quarterback John Kelly, he has 11 total touchdowns this year, has mm -hmm. yet to turn the football over. The whole Platteville team only has one turnover this season. The Warhawks, the defense stifled Pointers quarterback Mitch Bowe this past Saturday. I mean, is it going to be the same kind of game plan going into Saturday uh, against a guy like Kelly, or is it going to be a little different? Well, it'll be a little different. They had a, another quarterback, Nick Anderson. They lost to injury. So they had two quarterbacks, much as they've gone through the last couple of years, and both quarterbacks operate that system that they do, that spread offense of theirs uh, very well. And, and, again, I don't know if you're going to look for seven points or shutouts in, in a game like this, but, again, a, a school that's scoring 50 points, a, a team that's scoring – 50, you've got to find ways to slow that down and, and, and make it in, into a game where our offense will have a chance to control the ball. And you need to be solid in all three facets. Mm -hmm. and, and big games like this, especially coming you know, as a conference opener, is really going to be an important game. That's going to do it for Inside Warhawk Football. I'm Sean Tian, alongside UW-Whitewater head football coach Lance Leipold. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Sean.